Alright, so we're back with who? Kevin. Okay, good. The goat? Oh, okay. Wait, always. What do you have for us today? Uh, my <laughs> awesome top 16 lemon lime list. Okay. Did you did you lose out on top 16? Yeah, I, I got bodied really bad by Demigur. Yeah. I didn't see the Nimbus. Yeah. It sucked. That sucks. But it is Golden Frieza. It is green yellow, right? Uh, uh, no. Okay. What is it? Uh, green yellow, and I play two black and two red. And let's look. Let's just see. <laughs> what do you got for us? So Frieza, he's pretty simple. He has an activate main. You pop one of your Frieza's army, and then you get to untap an energy and draw. Uh, draw two on Awaken, don't matter, because you're just gonna pop Freeze Army and then untap two and draw. And then when you swing, you draw. So you draw a lot of cards, you untap a lot of energy. It's stupid. Yes. They weren't thinking when they made this leader. Oh, yeah. Uh, this came out in the same set as Starter Coup, and it's like that, but like ten times better. I agree. Alright. So, so that, that doesn't make sense. Um, we play four Freezes Call. This card's stupid. Okay. Uh, you get to play any two or less Freezes army from your deck in rest mode. That, that's that's not fair. Okay, and we have a lot of targets for that, right? Yeah, so our main target before you awaken is Malicious. Okay. So when he leaves the battle area to the drop area, uh, you take a life and you can play a two or less Frieza from your hand. Mm -hmm. Other than him? Other than him, yeah. And it doesn't matter how he leaves, really. Um, your leader skill works. I had somebody Vegeta the Cruel Me. I still got the skill and I awakened. Right. It counts for their skills too, right? Yeah. And they could swing at it. Right. Like, I've just Frieza called, let them swing at it. Nice. So, Low-key deadly defender. Okay. Still take the life, though. Okay. Then, his main target for playing another Frieza is this Frieza. Because he takes another life. Right. So, one energy, uh, Frieza's call. Bring this out in rest mode, pop it, take a life, uh, untap, draw, take another life. <laughs> that's like plus three. Right. That's, stu that, that's stupid. Okay. Uh, you want to open that, always. Okay. Uh, if you don't open this, um, you can always play that. Avenging Frieza, he is top three for a two or less Frieza's army, and then shuffle your deck. Just searches your super combos, any combo piece you might need. Consistency. For sure. And then our last Frieza. You don't ever really play it off this. This card's stupid. Um, he's a one drop, and when you play him, you can like bloodlust a six or less on their board. Um, if you play against Universe Six, this card makes that matchup free. Nice. Because you just negate their Chomp of Autos, and they're stuck with like a billion 10Ks in their hand that they can't combo. Mm -hmm. And. Blockers. Yeah. Uh, you negate blockers. You can do a lot. You can negate indestructible and kill something. I did that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So that's all the freezes. Fun stuff. All right. And plus, you were telling me I'll uh, remove a blocker and then use a mass hand. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to the mass hand because I play two of that. Cool. Busted card. Play two chi Uh I only really play it for the draw. A lot of times, I'll like freezes call, draw a card, and then pop it. Mm -hmm. Um. And if you need to use the Awaken, you can get the green Frieza that takes the life off of this. Okay. Uh, tap a green, any other energy, and then Frieza's call out a... What is it? Yeah, it has to be green, two or less. Yep. Which, that's fine. Nothing crazy. Okay. Um, for Paragus, I wish I was a green Frieza's army leader, because this card would be ridiculous. But in this deck, it is just top five for a Broly. Yeah. That's it. And Nothing special. Sorry. If we were a Green Freeze Army Leader, if we pop this, it would be untapped three. Yeah. I would love that. Um, we play two, really preparing for battle. Yeah. We don't get his second skill either. It's just pop a one drop. Uh, I don't like Borgos. Oh, you have to be a, a uh, yellow leader. Yeah. Yellow Broly? Yeah. So, it's just for Borgos, maybe Kid Koo, maybe like a random blocker. Yeah. It, it's nice. Most of the time it's a green combo, because we play... Four of this arrival Broly. Oh, is that searchable by the Paragus too? Yes. Oh, really? All of this, all these Broly's are searchable. Um, Paragus makes this real nice. Yeah. So, this is a rival for Green Yellow. This card's busted. 
Um, when you play them, you can either kill something on your opponent's board equal to or greater than to their energy. Yep. And then, or you can just draw and rest anything on their board. Right. Uh, energy, leader, battle cards, field card if you really wanted to. Hilarious against me. Yeah. Um, it's funny doing this against red. Pretty much this card is... The way you use it is different in every matchup. Um, you like locking, or like tapping down energy against like blue, mm -hmm. red especially. You don't want them like tapping out. You want them tapping out to play a three drop if they're on four energy. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, resting leaders is good. It's on both turns too. Um, you can like Shigesh Kid Goku, big boys, and tap out energy when you're going for like aggressive stuff. Um, to go with that, we play these. So when you have three cards in rest between you and your opponent, all cards, energy, battle cards, leader, yeah. you can play him for two instead of four. Yeah. And he has an activate main, lock anything in rest. Pretty good. Or lock any battle card in rest. This guy evolves on this guy for two, or you can play it for four if there's six cards between and rest between the two of you. Yeah. And you can just discard and rest anything, or lock it. Um, this card is vital in a lot of matchups. Um, starter baby, you just lock their leader. Uh, a lot of green leaders, they like to draw two, lock their leader. Uh, Br Yellow Broly, um, my stream match, I locked their leader game two, and it pretty much is what let me win. They didn't get two cards every turn, and it's, I got all the advantage, because I don't have to swing to draw. Nice. Two Mass Saiyan. Um, Arrival Broly can handle any big boys, so he handles like all the small things. Yeah. Uh, and then he's just a one energy double strike. He's technically one of our finishers. Okay. Uh, then the other technical finisher is like everything in the deck is Champa. Yeah. The spicy tech. Oh, wow. Um, give anything double. Simple. Four super combos that are the Doria. He's searchable. Yep. That's it. Nothing if, else. Uh, if they play Shrouded, you cry. Oh yeah, this is zero. Yeah, that sucks. Don't matter though. They're never. They're never gonna get the Shrouded. You'll mm -hmm. blow bust it. Nice. And then negates. We play three time magic, two Nimbus. I like this ratio a lot in the main. Um, time magic is good for baby. Either of them, honestly. Yeah. Nimbus is also just good. And then a single bloodlust because that's all I can play. Exactly. I mean, like I kind of play three more, but like on oh, my turn, turn. Yeah. unless I, unless they attack into my malicious. True. Busted. Wow. Let's see the side deck and matchup. The busted side deck. The third Nimbus. Okay. Is third Nimbus. Thanks. Two dark banisher. This card ruins a lot of things. I like siding in only one against Broly. Um, Especially blue-green. Yeah. Hachiak. This card kills that. My entire side kills Hachiak, honestly. Yeah. Um, two cooler. Oh. This card's necessary if you play yellow at this point. Uh, turns out Battering is still really good at three. Three yellow, even. Yeah. Uh, this card isn't even a three, because you can just play it for three, pop something, untap two. So it's still battering and it still draws you two. Yeah. And it's a 15k body. Pretty That's good. stupid. Uh, hitting buttons and topos feels really good. Mm -hmm. uh, negates in general feel good. Yeah. And then the best part of this sideboard right here, we got four path, three height, a victory, and two of the searcher. Nice. This kills Hachiak, kinda starter baby. Kinda Kid Koo, mainly Hatchiac. Mm -hmm. Anything slow enough that you know will die to Victory Strike, you can put it in. Oh, sure. um, the way you put it in, you take out all your green and your multis, except for your one drop green Frieza, because you can still Frieza's call it. <laughs> and you pretty much go mono yellow. I like putting this in against Starter Baby, because I'm charging a lot of yellows to get the seven drop out as early as possible anyway. Yeah. So I might as well just keep charging yellow and just play Victory Strike. Makes sense. No point not to. Okay. 
everything. Pretty simple stuff. I like it. It's very expensive. Yeah. Also, I think this is a freezing land. Huh? This is a freezing land. Yeah. But I, I can't pop it. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying like pop an army after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What else? Uh, so, matchups. Uh, round one I tied with Red Green Clash Crew. We charged and passed for like eight turns. Hilarious. Yeah. I was just waiting for him to do something because I had three green and three yellow up. And I had three arrival brolies in hand. If he did literally anything, I was just gonna like go arrival, 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 tap you out. And then win. Oh. He never did it. Okay. Um, round two was Hachiak. My game playing against Hachiak is supposed to be I just scoop game one. Okay. Go straight to game two, side 14 cards, and they can't do anything about it. I decided to play toward like turn four, and depending on game state, uh -huh. I would scoop. Um, turn three, I had him at three life. I just kind of played it out. Okay. I eventually won, and then game two, I victory striked him. Then round three, I lost to Kid Koo. I got 2 0'd. Oh. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, blue yellow sucks. Okay. Uh, it's the same situation with Demigra. Uh, they just swing me with a lot of big things. Nimbus doesn't do that. It helps, like, but I need to draw the Nimbus, which I just apparently can't in those matchups. Of course. And then I had to go on the biggest winning streak of my life. My life. Hello. For the rest of the tournament. Yeah. Um, first, I played against my worst matchup, which is Revive Goku. Okay. Lost game one. I can't do anything about that Gohan. Like, he just deadly defenders it, and eventually it'll die, but then he just gets the cards back. Yep. I sided in Coolers and Foos, one game, two, and three, because I drew all of them. Oh, okay. Uh, I got both Foos and a Cooler both games. Nice. The next round was Blue Yell Zamasu, which was doing surprisingly well. Like, that guy was doing pretty good. Okay. And uh, I beat him. I don't know what to say. Like, it, it, I just aggroed him, and he died. Okay. Next round was Red Baby. Right. Uh, he never got an ape. He was he said after the game like he didn't want to tap out against me for whatever reason. Or, like go up to one energy because I'll just tap him out next turn anyway. Yeah. And I just kinda killed his four drop. Yeah. Both times. Funny. And some weird stuff happened. I tried bloodlusting a baby seeker rare. It stopped the offering. But not everything else. Yeah, it didn't matter. I had like two other yellow up and just kept negating. Nice. Didn't matter. Okay. And then last round was the stream match, where I thought it was blue, yellow, just blue yellow Broly. Yeah. And then it was blue yellow green and he tapped my yellow game one. And I lost game one. That's how it be. And then I figured out like, oh, he's playing green, cool. Uh, I'll figure out some way to play against it. I just didn't want to get 2 out on stream. So I ended up winning game two. And I topped back to 5k on his last attack. <laughs> from one of my two super combos. Oh my. And then I just built up a billion cards in my hand because avenging, super combo, avenging, super combo, pop and avenging, untap two, draw, and I just like comboed a billion. Fantastic. He couldn't get out of it because he comboed his whole hand. Yeah. And that was about it. Cool. That was all my rounds. Okay. And then he lost in uh, the Mirror Top 5. Right? Yeah. Just, it's just, it's just, that wasn't fun. It just happened. It's okay. Yeah, it sucked. Uh, I never will play against that again. Any any shoutouts? Um, as I know, Aiden. Yeah, Aiden. Uh, I hit him up like two weeks ago. Uh, I was like, hey, I want to play this for Vegas. Yeah. You know, he topped Dallas. Just wanted matchup advice, stuff like that. Yeah. Because I didn't want to buy four topos and I have a victory strike. Might as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Glad I did. What's with the topos? I was going to play Beerus. Oh. Um, I didn't want to have to buy four topos. You would be playing rare matches all day. Yeah, it would've sucked. Literally everywhere. Yeah, there was a billion of them. I There was two repairs, and both times it was the same Beers player that I was paired up against and we got repaired. Nice. Uh, that was funny. I'm glad I didn't have to play against that because I don't know that matchup at all. And... Or anybody. The Freeze's army group in general, uh, they were super supportive. I was updating them throughout the day. And they were super hyped when I topped. Of course. Everybody in Vegas too, everybody was super hyped. Of course. And I don't know. Okay. Well, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Well, thank you. Yeah, man. Uh, if you guys have any questions. Oh, shout Comment out to the or... best Matt in the game, uh, actually. Don't, please don't. The best Matt in the game? I already know someone's going to comment about this. They're going to be like, oh, I know that Matt. Yeah. 
Yeah, this man's great. It's two years old at this point. Oh boy, all right. If there's anything else, <laughs> uh, comment below. Subscribe if you're new. Like, dislike. See you next one. Uh, dislike. <laughs>